From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guests are from one of the largest aerospace defense and homeland security companies around, and it's good to have them with us. First of all, the Director of Public Safety and Security with the L.A. County Sheriff's Project with Raytheon is T.J. Kennedy. T.J., welcome into tomorrow. Thank you. And you brought with you the program manager for the same project with Raytheon, Greg Costa. Greg, welcome. Thank you. You guys are doing some pretty cool things. First of all, I, I teased in the last segment, you've got a, st- a slide by intotomorrow.com. Check out our site in the separate video on the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's Office police car that's here on display at the Showstoppers press event. And they are displaying some very cool technology that we're sharing with you. You're going to be surprised by some of this stuff, but we want uh, you guys to share with us. What brings you, first of all, to CES? Well, we're here at CES to show some of the new technology that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office has integrated into their vehicles to take the, the station, the normal police station that you would have for a large sheriff's department like L.A. County, and taking it out into the field. So in the old days, they used to just have an MDT or a radio in the car. Nowadays, they have most of the tools, the systems, the software, and and the other things that they can do to make their job more efficient out with them in the patrol car every day. And I understand, like myself, you're a former police officer, so we can relate to things that would make our jobs easier. And as we hearken back to our days on the police departments that we served on, boy, sure would have been nice to have even a quarter of the technology available now. Absolutely. The technology that's available now that we're used to using from a consumer standpoint has not been available to all the law enforcement agencies. And like you and I have talked about, you know, the reality is before we used to have to call a dispatcher to get everything run. We'd have to run a driver's license, run a license plate, run a warrants check. Mm -hmm. All that can be done in the car today. All the way to the point of we have Bluetooth-enabled automated fingerprint devices integrated with the in-car laptop system in the L.A. County Sheriff car so they can actually run fingerprints on suspects in the field and get immediate recognition. So we're able to, to prevent bringing in somebody who you're not sure of their identity and you're able right. to confirm identity when somebody does have a warrant or a want out for them. Yeah, especially because you know they're not who they say they are. There's something, it's just that instinct as a cop that says, right. You, you know, know when you're being lied to. <laughs> exactly. When they're having to think too, fi- too long on their birth date or something like that. Boy, if you can just swipe the finger and and Bluetooth helps you get that info and you say, now I know who you are, and yes, you are wanted. Come with me. Exactly. And you're also you're being much more accurate. So so one of the yeah. things we want to do is prevent things from happening that don't need to happen and also allow officers to be out in the field more solving crimes and responding to incidents and not back at the police station running mm-hmm. paperwork. And that kind of brings me to the next question then, uh, being that we cover consumer tech for 17 years, what's in it for the consumer other than the one being arrested that's probably not thrilled with this tech? Well, I, I think in the consumer, one of the number one advances that they're getting with the system is it's really a lot about system integration. We're allowed now that you can see with automatic vehicle location, the dispatchers know where every single sheriff's deputy vehicle is and can send the closest vehicle. They also can take the millions of dollars invested in Esri mapping and all the Esri maps and the detail that's in there and now provide it to the officer in the car so they can find the quickest routes, they can find the closest hospital, they can find the closest shelter. So, you know, normally we would think pull out your iPhone, pull out an iPad, and look up where some of the stuff yeah, I mean, may be. It's, it's GPS, for crying out loud, but right. it's a whole lot better in this case. It's a whole lot more integrated, yeah. and it's integrated to a lot of the legacy systems that the sheriff's office has built for many years. So it's taking 20, 30 years of development and bringing it to the officer in the field. I would imagine setting things up like a perimeter. If you know where your other fellow units are, and and one of the guys was telling me on our video, which I haven't seen yet, so by all means let me know how good it is at intotomorrow.com. Uh, you can kind of tap on the screen where you need units based on where they are, and they can instantly respond. Now you've got a really good perimeter set up, and you're not guessing over the air. You've got is a there really a unit there? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can also see when the cars are arriving. You can see when your backup units are getting that perimeter in place, and you can see on your laptop where the friendly other officers are that are mm-hmm. coming to help you. Yeah, and that's one of the features that the sheriff's department is really um, – used quite a bit since it started rolling out, even more so than they originally thought they would. They love how the, the, the visibility it shows to where the offices are and the impact that it's had. I, I can imagine that some of this stuff, of course, it'd be great if all police departments have it. And, and from Raytheon, I'm sure you're thinking, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> yeah. But is it, was it a, a matter of a, of a hard sell kind of a rollout to the L.A. County Sheriff's folks? Or was it like, oh, please, we need this technology. Put it in the cars. Let's go. Well, the existing technology of the technology that they're replacing is from the mid-1980s. Yeah. So it's 30 years old. They needed to do an update. They couldn't find parts anymore. And so it was a matter of the best-of-breed technology met the requirements that they, that they were looking for. 
what are the things that are really jumping out from from an officer standpoint that they're saying this is awesome? I mean, if just this tech alone is making my job easier, safer, more productive, whatever, what's the the single thing that's making a big difference? So many of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's so hard to pick just one. I think one of the ones that is really um, the biggest impact is the um, call routing. You get a call that comes in, and we've got an emergency at this place. Hit a button, and it brings you directly to it. Yeah. L.A. County is a huge area. Oh, it's, yeah. It, and you, w- you may have an officer covering in another station where they don't normally work on a particular day, and sure. now it will automatically bring them to the scene and take all that investment that the county and other large jurisdictions have spent in creating some great mapping systems, but they used to be used a lot more inside of the building department, inside of the fire department. Now you can actually have it with the officer in the car mm-hmm. and telling you where to go. Right. And it's a whole lot better than just a Garmin or a Magellan or, you know, just something off the shelf. It's, right. it's really got their detailed information in there. How affordable in our remaining 30 seconds is this for these agencies? Because, of course, everybody deals with budgets, and, and, and no doubt every police agency in the country would love to have all the greatest technology. How does it work? for them it is actually very affordable and they've worked out that this fits within their budgets even in this very tight environment and we believe that other departments can do that as well terrific well you want to learn more about this and certainly see the video at intotomorrow.com but check out raytheon.com as well we'll link you there too when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com tj and greg thanks for spending a few minutes with us please tell me you'll let me drive the police car later We'll let you get uh, next to it. I don't know if we'll let you drive it or not. We'll, we'll put you in the back seat if you'd like. Yeah, okay. Well, no, no that's different. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go there. Thanks anyway. We're back with more from CES in Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues on the Advanced Media Network.